morning. Just leaving the area where we parked overnight last night in the town of Burgers, Burgers. Um, yeah, there's a, as you can see, probably about 40 vans here, something like that. So we're just going to head into the town now. It's a fortified city apparently. There's walls um, and like a little cathedral and things like that. Apparently it's about five, six hundred years old, this town. So we'll have a look and explore around there. I don't think it's a big town, so we'll have a look and see what there is. But if we can find any historical stuff, we'll put some information in about it. So here we go. First proper day in France. <laughs> just entering the arch of the village village of Beggars now, um, Bajor. Leah there, just this little bridge crossing this uh, little river here. Uh, they're just entering this sort of, this is the fortified walls of the city, so we're going to enter these. Apparently there is a bit of a walk, I think you can go around some of them, I'm not sure if it's all the way around the city, but this is the little entrance then, we're actually entering the old town now. It's a busy little road though. Pull the other one. walking down now along these arches along the fortification walls um, this is leading us back to the air where the vans parked so just opposite us was a sports stadium it's quite well marked we'll put some details about where we stay because it is a really good location and it's good for big motor homes as well our little transit van is perfect for smaller areas but this is definitely ours was the smallest in there by a long shot Just leaving the town now of Berger, Berger's whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking. I was walking through the town centre, and there was so many like little patisseries and bakeries and things like that. And I thought I've got a real sweet tooth, and I thought I really fancy getting myself some. But I've realised I can't speak an ounce of French. I didn't know how to ask for anything, so I'm going to have some shop bought um, pan of chocolates in the back from of the van Morrison's. from Morrison's in England because. I didn't know what to say, so I didn't just want to go two of them because they might not know what I mean. So, so older people get task, by. Learn a little bit of French. Yeah, wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> just walking back now to our camping air for where we was last night, our very first night in France. Got a bit of van envy when you look at the size of all these, and then just behind the bins there <laughs> is Bruce. Slight size envy. Well, we we're in France, as I said in the previous video, I wanted some like pan of chocolates or some beautiful light French patisseries but because I didn't know or dare or to ask in French what we've ended up is with some Morrison's pan of chocolates there is a French flag on them but they are produced in no they are they're even Aldi's to be fair uh, they're produced in Warwickshire in England so I'm a bit French still but I mean some of the stuff in them shops look beautiful you know proper handmade bakes and stuff like that and then I've ended up with these I mean there's no disrespect Aldi's pan of chocolates are probably lovely but it's just not the same so I'm going to have to get over that. I worry when we go to Germany because I speak pretty fluent German. So no, I'm quite... no. Yeah. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can speak a little bit of German. Basic to get by, possibly. French, absolutely no idea besides please, thank you. And I only learned please today. 
Civil, um, no. Please thank you and hello. I forgot what's please again. Civil play. Civil play. And then um, what is Messi? Thank you. Messi, Messi, Buku, thank you very, very much. much. And bonjour. So yeah, as you say, I'm getting very <laughs> fluent. So yeah, but I'm going to enjoy one of these non-French French pan au chocolat. So yeah, in France. Mm. It's not bad this driving on the wrong side of the road. Like I'm almost French. Oh, I'm pretty, I've come to it that good. I'm almost French. Besides the cities, apparently the cities and the towns are crazy. There's markings, road signs, and everything. I don't know. People walk out in front of you. Cars reverse yeah, at you. People just wandering out. I don't know really. Some pedestrian crossings have red lights for them. Some pedestrian crossings, I think, act as normal. I figure if there's a pedestrian, just don't run them over, and I've done the right thing. So yeah, so we're just heading on our way now to Lille. We've got 65k to go, uh, and then we're going to have an hour or so there. Just inadvertently found the stadium, haven't yeah, we? we found Lille's football stadium. I said to Leish, we'll go watch a football game. I said, Lille are there. Inadvertently, we took the wrong turn on the motorway and ended up at the, right outside the stadium. <laughs> and it looks like there might be a match day there because there was loads of staff sort of closing the road off, so... Yeah, they looked quite confused at us, didn't they? Yeah, I was confused also. <laughs> but yeah, well, at least we've done it. We've seen the stadium. So yeah, it was the Summit Stadium. Uh, Decathlon or something? Decathlon Stadium, so yeah, there we go. Our first French vineyard. I like wine. You've drank a vineyard. A vineyard. You've drank a vineyard's worth of wine in your lifetime, haven't you? Probably yeah. Agree. Hence why my insides are absolutely. Tell you one thing though, as we noticed in the Aldi last night, how cheap the wine is. The French wine is three, four euros a bottle. I mean, it might be shy. I don't know. Well, I don't know. I can't taste it. Maybe because they make that much of it, it's just cost the fortune. Yes, yeah. it's cheap. Well, I suppose what I've not import costs well because if they make it where it is, then yeah, yeah. jobs are gooder. trees just thought we'd give you a quick update on our adventure at the moment we left our stopover at burgers this morning um, and we've come to a place i can't pronounce the name of so we'll put the name in yeah it's just a little stop like a little parking area opposite a pond we just thought we'd have a cup of tea chill out for a bit we've been driving about an hour and three quarters um on our way to reams we're going to carry on driving there now we've took the tow road option off the sat nav so we can see the more scenic routes we've just started getting into like the champagne region so seeing a few vineyards and a lot more open countryside which has been a nice drive so yeah we're basically just going to head to reams possibly late this afternoon do a little bit of a wander around there maybe until a bit later in the day and then we'll find a parking area or a campsite for this evening but uh, yeah we'll try and get some footage of reams and maybe have the journey there I'm amazed. If you've ever seen such a French thing in your life, right? A baguette vending machine. There's a vending machine there. It's fresh, beautiful, one euro ten. Just a little like bread machine there. We've drove past a couple recently where they've got pizzas what are ready made as well for a few euros. But I just can't believe it. I mean, it's a proper stereotype for French baguette in France. But I thought it'd be stiff as anything. But that is doughy. That is that is my tea tonight. But that is fantastic. So. It smells nicely, you can't smell it, but smell, smell the vision. But yeah, that is, oh, I'm, I'm amazed. This <laughs> France is just, that's dazzled me, that, look at that. Oh yeah, and that's what I get. To Reims now, about 10 minutes away, six kilometers. So, this is like another experience of a city. So, we'll experience it. There have been great experiences, there's been a lot going on, but we've drove for a good three hours or so today. So, I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident, especially on the main roads. City roads, man, not too bad, but you've just got to be aware. But this might be a test, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll get near to video certain bits of it. Hmm. If all those fails, we want to see the cathedral, but there is that little church there. So if we don't make the big cathedral, 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 we've seen that. Oh, that looks real nice actually. I shouldn't underplay it, you're beautiful too.
<laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> oh, you exhausted it. This is a bit luxury, isn't it? Being able to use the induction up. It is actually. We haven't hit it yet, so we don't really know what it's like, but there's a pizza in there. To be fair, I've done Leo's as a trial run, so if, <laughs> if Ed goes alright, my Hamwit from Arge goes okay. Here's from yeah. France. Do you think it can work? Yeah, it can work. Why do you put it there? You'll put it there. Well, then, but why don't you put it there? She's a nightmare, honestly. No. Bring on the go since This was my idea though, so it's better, isn't it? Bring on the go since 7 o'clock this morning, it's now 9 o'clock. We've done about freaking 5 hours driving. Probably 5 hours driving today on and off, dropping off at places. Went to uh, Reims this afternoon to see the cathedral, Notre Dame Cathedral. That's nice. That was nice actually. Then we drove from Reims, um, where did we drive to? Drove into the Champagne region. We technically drove to um, Lille football stadium. That was before we'd even got to Thingy. What? Reims. I've gone back in town. She's throwing my shaka right out. No, I don't Stop it there, I mean, we can maybe edit that bit out and we could get another video. Yeah, so we. It's having twitches. Let's do a serious show, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, crack on. Yeah, so we we drove to Reims and um, had a walk around the cathedral, which was lovely. In there, we've got some videos and stuff there, so we'll show you that. And then from Reims, we basically drove to the Champagne region. Was looking for a couple of little airs we've seen, and um, one of them was like in a churchyard, but we got there and. It wasn't really anything nice. There was a they British. They were doing like building, weren't they? They were doing some building work. So you're not going to talk to my videos, you talk over me now? Yeah. Because he was talking wrong. He was talking wrong. It was. When did he talk was... wrong? Because there was a village hall um, area where we parked up, saw the British van, and um, we was going to park there, but that wasn't the air. It wasn't. It was where the church was, but there was like some building works there. There was like the containers, the huts, and it was kind of barricaded off and that was what was in the air so it wasn't it can I speak now 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 the, now the true facts speak. have been spoken yeah, yeah so anyway we did that and nope so anyway we did that and we drove to a couple of different places to find somewhere for the night we drove to somewhere just up the road about 20 minutes up the road what was like on a lake Mm. But there was eight and nine motorhomes there already and the only space was right opposite the service pitch where like they do the water and empty the toilets and stuff so we decided against that. And in some ways I'm glad we did because the pitch with the spot we found tonight it is an air but it's essentially like a campsite. There's hard standing pitches, there's electric hook up, there's free Wi Fi, all for nine euros. Not each, nine euros for the night, both for twenty four hours. I mean there's nothing in the area whatsoever and it's a place called Saint leave something so we'll put the name in here. But yeah, it's fantastic. Wi Fi, and um, we're just we're just settling down now, aren't we really? And just had some pizza and Yeah, I think it's about nine o'clock ish somewhere. Uh, I will tell you. It's like a sub cute little village in it. It is. Nine PM, near enough. See I'm practically French, so, I can so just yeah. guess the time. So maybe an hour or so watching a couple of YouTubes to catch up. Um we've got a rough plan for tomorrow. Don't want to go on so long and bore you with chit chat. It does bore people. We've just had a little chat now and our plans for tomorrow are we are going to Strasbourg. Strasbourg, yep. Yeah. And there's a place on the way back, uh, like a little Germanic village called uh, Rockweir. It's like a little sort of traditional Bavarian place. It is in France, but because it's right on the German border, mm. it's very German sort of design. I think Strasbourg is very similar. So we're going to go have a visit at those two places tomorrow and then hopefully once we've done them, there is a Aaron Rockwell we're potentially going to look at 
of there's a few quite a way down towards the Swiss border with Basel. So Basel? Basel. Basel. So yeah, we're gonna maybe do that. We might not get to Switzerland tomorrow night, but we may do depending on how we make for time. But I think all in all it's about four and a half hours driving on and off with visiting and things like that. So if not we'll try and stay somewhere right on the border and then we'll travel into Switzerland all being well on Monday where we can sort of start the basically what was our main part of the road yeah. trip that's gonna be like our biggest holiday there isn't it really yeah this is kind of like the road trip in Switzerland is like the holiday and it mm -hmm. although we'll be moving from place to place it's um might have a few nights in one place might yeah, we actually gonna had any accommodation but we haven't got any accommodation but for Switzerland or anything so we're hoping we can set up on campsites because we know wild camping and airs aren't really a thing there so Look at this little face. Like anybody's gonna turn that face off a campsite. Yeah, no. They'll be like, great. "Come on, Daniel, come, come stay with they us." They smelled my socks last night, though. They might turn me away. They did smell a bit, didn't they? That's the other tongue that was hot on there. Yeah, and sweet shower done with the body wipes. Body wipes. It's unspecified. And then aired them out with Crocs. I just got all natural. They smell now. I can smell. Stinky gets. <laughs>